You can find full interviews on the Tell Us About channel. Link in the description. Yeah, so I worked on, I, I think, at, so at the time, I think it was the most, um, within that slice of time, the most successfully, uh, financially successful video game of all time. And uh, most people don't know what this game is when they think of it. Um, oh, actually, I'll give you, a, I'll let you do a couple guesses. What do you think the most, in, in like 2010, what was the most financially successful video game of all time? I've watched these things, and I had the bar, and it was in the time lapse. Have you seen those YouTube videos? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, most people would not think of this. It was Farmville. I worked oh. at Zynga in, in San Francisco. Um, like I, was, I didn't go for a job at Zynga. They acquired my company, and we got absorbed. Oh, that's why well, I worked well, at Farmville. That's a whole thing, right? Uh, um, yeah, that's a whole thing. So yeah, fun fact, if you've seen the TV show Silicon Valley, especially like seasons one and two, mm -hmm. um, that show is not satire. That show, mm -hmm. it, that it is straight up, that is what those people are like. They are insane. Um, it's, it's, uh, they're, uh, they're just power hungry, crazy, crazy people out there in San Francisco. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, you know, what we were getting, uh, when, when we were acquired by Zynga, they, they flew us over there and we lived in San Francisco for about two months to get indoctrinated in the Zynga culture. That's how I like to put it. Um, resistance is futile. Oh, by um, the way, do you own a Gavin Belson uh, signature box? <laughs> I, do not, I do not have any, uh, any uh, dick signatures in my, in my house, no. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, okay, okay. Sorry. That was a good story, though, okay. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the story that, and yeah, fun fact, Mark Pincus was uh, my, the CEO of Zynga, uh, was a, a guest star in Silicon Valley. And th this is the thing, like these people are so, um, they don't understand when something's making fun of them. Uh, like Silicon Valley <laughs> is a hard, like biting satire of these people, right? Yeah. And these, these, uh, these CEOs of, uh, of these companies just think they're above it all. And they're like, oh, I'll be on Silicon Valley because it's like a joke and it's funny. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, sure, I'm sure that my judge was like, oh my God, I can't believe this person is so stupid or like so conceited that they think I'm, this is not just me roasting them. But um, anyway, Mark Pincus was the, uh, was the CEO of Zynga. The, the story of the founding of Zynga was, uh, he, he, he brought us all around. He brought us, you know, they spent like you know, $50,000 to bring us to a, a crazy soiree. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're talking uh, indoor snow, six foot, um, you know, six foot uh, fountain of chocolate. Uh, they, they, they brought in some of the fanciest bartenders from San Francisco. They flew a set of capoeira dancers up from Brazil to, to dance, to do dances and everything. Um, and they hired like jugglers and everything. And then they pay you 30 K a year. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why weren't you happy? We threw a grand <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah. but you're borderline homeless. Yeah, Scraping it's, by it's, is a death. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, but yeah, his story of the founding of Zynga, and this will be very instructive. Um, if you want to understand. Uh, mobile games and all of that is he he actually was an investment banker originally so one of those people and uh he was like i think it was like at his nephew's house or something and he was playing a game game of age of empires and uh he was you know he was you know fight fighting army versus army it's a very economically focused game mm -hmm. and he he thought hey this person has more gold than me and they're able to hire more mercenaries than me. I have more gold than this person in real life. Why can't I use my real life gold to dominate this person in the video game? And then he founded <laughs> Zynga. And then he founded Zynga. Um, that, that is literally gotcha. the foundation. The, is, the foundation. The, is this the, or, the origin of pay to win? <laughs> yep. Yep. This is, that, the foundation of these games is how do I use my real life money to get an advantage in the video game? Um, and like, I, I remember just standing there and be like, does no one hear how awful this is? Like the, the cool thing about competitive video games is, and this is why I hate Korean MMOs, like anything with even just like a, a, a moderate amount of pay to win. Like it just like, it really irks me fundamentally because the beauty of competitive PVP, uh, video games to me is it's the great equalizer, right? Like, I don't care that you were born with a billion dollars. I went to the lab. I studied. And I, 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 I came out here swinging and I defeated you with my, my mind and my, my hand. And it, it just totally equalized everything. That's a, a beautiful thing about it is it's just a pure strategic mind versus mind battle. 
Um, and anything that lets money get in the way of that is a, that's a big no, no, that's a big, big, big no, no to me. <laughs> yeah. Money, money, money it runs the mm -hmm. world. Doesn't it ruins all dreams and creativity <laughs> because then people are like, Oh, this game's really cool. But, but, uh, call of duty 89 made more money. So we're just, we're, we're only doing those. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what people see. This profits. Yep, yep, that's what runs the world. Yeah.